What is up teachers and Google Docs users? Today I wanna to show you how to use a new feature from Google Docs called Watermarks. Let's check it out. So Google Docs has just added this feature and I think it's pretty cool. I've got a demo document, ignore the text, it's all nonsense. And here's where you find it, insert watermark. Now you can add the image of your school, which is kind of an interesting idea. Thinking about the education space or maybe if you are an entrepreneur or a company of some kind, you could use this in other ways as well. You can adjust the size so that the logo just appears in the center of the page. I have a logo with a lot of black, so that doesn't necessarily show up too well, but you can imagine your logo of choice in that spot. Let's remove that watermark and then other uses. Of course, we've got the classic draft. So you can put that across a draft document if you are sharing this with a working group or committee. And then I was thinking about in the classroom context, maybe on Google Classroom, we wanna share a teacher example of an assignment. So I might write Mr. Cavey's example just to make sure that students aren't confused when they click on this in Google Classroom. Lots of different uses. By the way, it shows up on every page of your document, not to worry, and it's easy to adjust. You've got font, you've got size, you've got style, and you can remove it very quickly and easily. Kind of a powerful new feature from Google Docs, and I think this takes just another step forward. If this video was helpful, please give it a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next time right here at Teachers on Fire.